Эй, hey, друзья, всем привет, с вами снова Эдем Надо и я очень рад приветствовать вас в нашем новом видео. И сегодняшнее видео необычное по всем своим параметрам, потому что, друзья, про мою очередную самоделку сняли видео зарубежные ютуберы. Это у нас Венсмок Спотлайт. Думаю, вы многие его знаете, те, кто разбирается в этих всех мок штучках. И про мою самоделку Soundwave G1 из трансформеров он снял на нее как бы, свой обзор, свой спотлайт. И сейчас мы посмотрим на это видео и должен сказать, что это очень классная для меня новость. Я очень рад, что мои самоделки замечают такие на самом деле люди продвинутые. И блин, действительно, я уже второй раз появляюсь в этом мок спотлайте. Первый раз это была моя самоделка Саурона. На... Но я не делал такого спешл видео обзора, потому что, ну, это был первый раз, да. Но это второй раз, то есть второй раз я появляюсь в его вот этой рубрике про различные самоделки, которые он считает лучшими, которые люди постят на его э, сайт. Ну и давайте уже без лишних предисловий начнем смотреть это видео. Надеюсь, оно вам понравится. Это полностью эти все права принадлежат, понятное дело, Vance Mock Spotlight. Это TTV Boards. Ну, а я это видео выкладываю только из-за того, что из-за моего уважения и радости того, что я попал сюда во второй раз. Что ж, начнем. What's up, everybody? This is Ven bringing you another mock spotlight where we take apart what you build. And for today's episode, we'll be taking a look at a system mock called Soundwave. Created and posted to our message boards by Dominato Space. Now, before we get started, let me remind you of my method of reviewing, which involves a point system that is based on three fundamental attributes. The overall appearance of the mock, the build of the mock itself, and the concept and ideas behind the mock's creation. Each quality will mount up to 10 points, leading up to a final score that will be determined at the end of the episode. And please remember that this is all based on my opinion. So let's get this started. All right. Transformers, robots in disguise as buildable figures, and one heck of a disguise this is. It almost doesn't even look like it's made out of Lego, it's just so solid. Now for those of you who aren't so familiar with Transformers characters, this one in particular is based on the Decepticon sound wave, specifically is designed from his 80s toy and 80s cartoon look. Now being a Transformers fan myself, Soundwave is actually my personal favorite Decepticon, so it was actually incredibly easy for me to recognize this as the character, but personal bias aside, the mock does look incredible. It's got a very distinguishable shape and design that makes it clear that it's a giant robot thing that isn't just a giant robot thing. He actually does transform, but I'll get more into that in just a moment. I'm also really loving the attention to detail. This guy's got a whole lot of them, like the cassette holder for the chest that actually does open up. Some of the really small details, like the buttons of the cassette player that can be seen on the torso, the shoulder cannon, the distinct head shape that Soundwave is supposed to have, his minions that all look pretty accurate. Maybe not 100% accurate, but it's still fairly easy to tell that these are smaller characters. The flying minions look great, but I do think that the, I guess, grounded minions could look a lot better, and especially Ravage. The Jaguar minion, yeah, he could he could totally look better than this, I feel. Soundwave himself looks great. I don't really have too many problems with him, aside from some slight inaccuracies to the show and the toy. Like, the head isn't one-to-one, -one, the legs, are kind of different but at least he's still a good-looking figure I will say though when he is transformed into his cassette player mode or is this a radio mode I don't know it kind of looks a little odd to me it definitely doesn't look as solid it's got a very awkward shape to it towards the bottom part and it's a little bit gappy but that doesn't necessarily mean that it looks bad it's still pretty decent for what it is and I do gotta give you a lot of points for even making that work because just making an actual transformer out of Lego is already quite the challenge so making it look good only adds to the challenge I guess so I guess I, I, I can kind of forgive this for not looking 100% perfect. That said, while looks aren't exactly everything for the mock, 
it does have a fantastic build. The figure itself is very poseable, probably has more articulation than the original figure from the 80s, even has poseable fingers. He's shock full of play features just off the wazoo, like his gun accessories and then of course his minions that all also have a transformation feature. They transform into the cassette tapes that you put into his chest. See, I'm, I'm thinking this is supposed to be a cassette player, but then the sides kind of make it look more like a boombox. But anyway, that is pretty cool to have that incorporated into the smaller figures. And at the end of it all, it just looks built to be as sturdy as can be. There's no part of this mock that looks weak or loose or too easy to break, really. Overall, I'd say this is a really successful translation of a Transformer figure into LEGO form. Aside from slight inaccuracies, I do feel like the figure could not have been done much better. And it's probably one of the most, if not the most, successful LEGO recreation of a Transformer character I've seen, at least in recent memory. He's got the look, the aesthetic, the transformation, the cassette tape minions, everything you would get with the original toy. Or everything you would see on screen in the old 80s show. That said, there isn't really much else for me to say on this, so I'd say I'm just about ready to go ahead and wrap up the video with some scores. Starting with the appearance, for which I give this mock a 9 out of 10 simply because the minions could be slightly improved in their design and because the cassette tape boombox mode looks just okay. It could definitely be improved. But the robot mode looks great, weapons look great. Overall, really digging the design of this mock. In terms of the build, this mock receives a 10 out of 10. While the transformation could have been left with better results, it's it's almost impossible for me to deny that this is a job well done in implementing a transformation feature into a Lego figure and still keep the figure itself looking as good as it does, and also acting as a proper action figure with standard points of articulation and play value that's actually worth talking about. And really what I'm saying is that it takes a really good build to make all this work in the same mock. In terms of the concept, this mock receives a 9 out of 10. Kind of going hand in hand with the appearance really because there are some slight inaccuracies to the character's design and some rather small issues I take with the design as it is. But all in all, I would say it is a very faithful and successful recreation of the character that I do think exemplifies what a LEGO Transformer should be. Plus, I mean, he's Soundwave. He's my favorite Decepticon. Now, do me a favor and do my favorite Autobot, Grimlock. Please, I would love you forever. And now, with all that said, we are left with a final score that all adds up to a 28 out of 30. So congratulations to you, Dominato Space. Dominato Space? Dunno, but congrats for making it onto the mock spotlight. Do hope to see more out of you. Same goes for the rest of you viewers. If you think you have the creativity that deserves to be spotlighted on the mock spotlight, then go ahead and post your own mocks to our message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. Check out the LEGO Creations category and just post whatever you got, man. System or Bionicle or CCBS based, doesn't matter. As long as it's LEGO, as long as it's creative, then it's pretty safe to say you'll get your mock spotlight sometime in the future. Bear with me, there's a lot of mocks for me to sift through, obviously. So until then, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.